Hello and good afternoon. This is Jeff Cornwell at Marino Performance Motors in West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, today I'm going to do a video walk around on our 2022 Porsche Taycan. I'm going to start just making a quick circle around it and then I will do some up close video and point out any minor items I can find. All right, let's start here on the front bumper. There are a couple little nicks on the front bumper cover itself that I can have touched up. We just have not done it yet. Uh, you can see right, uh, well, I don't know if you're gonna see them in the video. Okay, right here and here, there's a couple small little pecks there. I've got one spot right, sorry, I'm getting shadows and reflections. One spot right there. Uh, other than that, I do not see anything else on the hood. Everything looks good. We'll come around here to the driver's side. We'll start here on the front fender. Uh, no dings or scratches on the fender. Uh, no curb spots on the wheel. Got one little spot down here on the bumper. Again, that can be touched up. Uh, we'll go down the driver's door, no dings or scratches. On the passenger door, no dings or scratches. Go back here to the rear fender and rear bumper corner, there's no dings or scratches. Uh, no curb spots on this rear wheel. Tires are in really good condition as far as tread. Uh, the rear, I didn't get a, a shot at the fronts, but the fronts are in really good condition as well. We'll move around here to the rear of the car. Nothing back here I can point out. No scratches or marks or anything here on the rear. Move around here to the passenger side. Uh, nothing on the passenger corner of the rear bumper. Nothing on the rear fender. On the rear wheel. Got a little bit of just minor, minor, minor curb rash right here and here. Uh, up in this area. Very minor. On to the door. No dings or scratches. Same with the driver's door. No dings or scratches. Move over here to the front fender. No dings or scratches. Uh, this wheel, I uh, do have a little bit of curb rash right here. Uh, that can be taken care of. Um, I don't see anything else. Uh, top of the car, no issues. Obviously that's uh, glass, so there's not gonna be any dings or anything like that on there. All right, we'll take a look at the inside of the car. We'll start here on the door panel. Uh, door panel, there's no issues. Uh, come over here and look at the driver's seat. Uh, there's no bolster wear, there's no wear spots. Uh, again, sorry for the shadows, but um, yeah, no, uh, no wear spots or damage. Everything on the seat looks good. Center armrest is good. There's no wear on the steering wheel. We'll jump in here. You can see on the dashboard, uh, there's no uh, no areas of the dash that's lifting or pulling. Everything on the top of the dash is good. I can see the exact miles are 6,277. Um, just see that everything is uh, booting up as it should. The navigation screen. See everything is uh, as it should be. Move around uh, to the rear seat and then onto the passenger side.
No damage on the back of the driver's seat. No uh, issues on this seat. Door panel's all really nice. Take a quick look uh, in the rear trunk area. to the passenger side uh, rear seat no issues here everything's nice no damage on the back of the passenger seat and over here to the passenger front seat no issues on the door you see the seat itself is in uh, excellent shape there's no bolster wear issues on the dash take a quick look here underneath the uh, the front bonnet everything's good here you can see the stickers are still intact tool set air compressor tow hook So really, other than just a couple small marks on the front bumper cap and a couple curb spots on the wheels, nothing I can say negative about the car. It's in outstanding condition. Uh, again, on those uh, little nicks on the bumper, I can have those touched up. And I can also have the curb spots on the wheels uh, fixed as well.